Now that everybody's feeling euphoric, I want to circle back to some of the stocks that got slammed for company-specific reasons during the October meltdown. It really had nothing to do with what was going on. Companies like Angie Home Services, which was created last year when IAC, the huge digital conglomerate, merged its home advisor business that we like so much with Angie's List, which we were recommending. Home Advisor helps people find contractors to fix up their houses. Angie's List is a crowdsourced review website where consumers can review all sorts of local businesses, especially contractors. So there's a lot of synergy here. Since the merger, the company's been putting up some terrific results. And even after last month's sell-off, the stock's up 82% year-to-date. Four weeks ago, it rated a little bit of turbulence. We learned that Angie's uh, CEO, Chris Terrell, will be stepping down. The company's chief product officer, Brandon Ridenauer, is going to take the helm in January. Well, regular viewers know that we love this story. But Wall Street hates change, especially when we're talking about the shakeup of a highly effective management team, which is why the stock fell almost 5% on the news. But I think that's just a darn overreaction. Tonight's numbers were really impressive. So let's take a closer look with Brandon Ridenauer, who's the incoming CEO of Angie Home Services, to get a better sense of his vision for the company. Mr. Ridenauer, welcome to Mad Money. Good to see you, sir. We loved this combination, and we loved Angie's, and we thought it was chronically chronically undervalued, but it was maybe not as well run as it should have been. What are you bringing to the party? Because I think that this, we had Etsy earlier. This is the analog of Etsy. This would be huge company when you guys are done putting it together the way it should be. That's right. Well, it's a huge space. The home services market is estimated at $400 billion or more uh, dollars in annual value, and only about 10% of it's online. So we're in the very early days of a very large space. It's going to be a seismic shift in coming online over the coming decade. So we've got that tailwind uh, at our back. Uh, Home Advisor is a brand that's been growing strongly for the last five yeah. years. Uh, so we've got great performance there. A year ago, we combined Home Advisor and Angie's List, and we've seen tremendous value creation through that pairing. Now, uh, I think people have to know that this is not just the United States. That's right. You've got a really thriving business in Europe. That's right. We've got the leading brand in Canada, and we have several of the leading brands across uh, several Western European countries. And so we're trying to take this playbook uh, and run it in a number of different countries, and we've got the leaders uh, in, a, in a few different places. Now, can you tell me, uh, just, to, just logistically, one part of your operation works closely with Walmart, with Wayfair. I mean, I always find I want, I want people to help me put the stuff together. Ah, yeah. I do. I mean, yeah. it's, it's big intimidation for me, and I get very frustrated. But you guys have answers. Well, that's more and more people's preference. We were uh, able to acquire a company called Handy Technologies right. in this last quarter. They have a phenomenal service, particularly in the retail space, that's available point of sale. So if you've got a piece of furniture you've purchased that requires assembly, you've bought a shower head that needs to be installed, now you can bolt on that installation service right there at point of sale. They've got some great partnerships. We expect to see that channel grow significantly over the coming right. years, and that's a good growth channel for Okay, us. how can you get the word out about that? Because literally, I was at a major uh, do-it-yourself center the, uh, about three days ago, and I just said, boy, I'd love to do this myself. I just need a little help. And that's what we want. Yes, And yes. You, you can find people? Because it's so hard to find people. Absolutely. They're able to deliver this service at an amazing level of reliability anywhere in the country. Uh, that's how they've been able to get some of these large partnerships in the retail space. You're going to hear more and more about it. We just acquired them about two weeks ago. It's um, so, so good. This is, this is what we're focused on. I think it's very exciting. Now, a lot of people say there's a labor shortage in the country, and therefore yep. it's hard to find craftsmen, hard to find people who are Angie's. But you, if I look at your, when I look at your site, that's not necessarily true. Yeah. Well, uh, that's what makes the service of, like ours so useful. Right. Uh, we do a lot of the, the heavy lifting for you in terms of finding professionals that are available to do your job and can take on that work. It is true the nation's facing a shortage of these types of right. providers. And uh, I think in the long term, that's something we have to solve. But uh, we're very early days in this space. Uh, while we're the dominant leader right. in the category, we've got single-digit penetration. So we're not constrained from a growth perspective uh, by that, that sort of economic shortage. And tonight's numbers show that you are able to, obviously, you're growing by leaps and bounds, that's frankly. Right. Yeah, that's right. Let me ask you one last thing. How do you be sure about quality? Uh, well, we do a lot. That's a huge part of the focus of okay. the company, and it's what differentiates us from perhaps right. going and finding providers on your own. And so uh, every pr provider, and we have over 200,000 of them that are in our network, every single one of them is background checked and screened. Okay. We do criminal and financial screening. We check state-level licensing. And uh, once they're in the network, we have ongoing quality uh, verification uh, where we make sure that these are good providers and they're doing good work. We also have, obviously, customer feedback that's coming in in real time. So there's a, an entire ecosystem around making sure that we have the highest quality providers uh, that we can. Now, is there really anybody else? And it, it, well, the reason I say this is because I think you guys can be in a lot more verticals than you already are. Uh -huh. Do you know how many small business people would love someone that's vetted by your company yeah. to help come to do some uh, work? But we don't even know where to find them. I agree. Uh, and, and, and we think that uh, 
perhaps the brand could expand to cover right? any service delivered in and around the home. That's so, what we want. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm not kidding because the company itself, the two companies, yeah. are the answer to a lot of us who are want to help, want to do it, and don't know how to find a contract. Right. Honestly. It's a challenge. It absolutely is. And that's, uh, that's, what, we're, that's what we're good at. Oh, I think it's a great combination. We liked it before. We like it even more together. Okay, that, that's Brandon Ryden now. He's the incoming CEO of Angie Home Services. Guys, you got to look at this. This is Etsy. This is the future. Mad Money's back in for the break. Booyah! Jim Cramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs. Plus, market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.